Alright, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome back to Pe- 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 Enjoy your stay. Oh, something's not right. I might be affected. I'll palm this one off on the leech. Yeah, the dialogue ends early. Approach I mean, luckily- the, to commence security scan. the dialogue isn't really that big of a deal, but still, oops. I- Oh, this one. I gotcha. Take Wait pill. Here to receive your visa. Oh, that tastes awful. These pills allow travel around Pear. They bond to your biometrics and identify you as security checkpoints. Do I need to get more visas? This is the basic visa granted to everyone. If you survive long enough, you may be given access to other visas. Make your way to decontamination. Prisoners attempting to flee will be shot. Security check complete. Proceed to decontamination zone. Just leave your clothes there. Put this on. Well, this is a coincidence. Looks like some sort of crude multi-tool. It's not a coincidence. You were meant to find it. For Drugan's sake, keep it out of sight. Take it easy. We're gonna have problems if you're such a pain in the arse all the time. Just keep moving. Where am I supposed to go now? Oh, I'm... Interesting, there's that guy there. I assume I sh probably shouldn't just start, like, breaking and entering on people. I didn't realize I wasn't supposed to go in there. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Okay, we're gonna save game. Oh. Okay, so for whatever reason, he sends me there. Nope. Okay. Because this guy is really blind. I'm gonna save. No, he doesn't have anything of any interest. I was kind of hoping I could. I was kind of hoping I could green zone. steal like a gun from him immediately. That would have been mad. Decontamination <laughs> commencing. Caution: the chemicals used in decontamination can be lethal. What's going on here? Are you a puppeteer? Well. It ain't any of your fucking business, then, is it? That depends. What's a puppeteer? Blade the heavens! What did you do to get here? Piss in the punch bowl at some Tufts party? The puppeteers are a gang of idiots. We grits put them in the gutter where they belong. So, it ain't your fight, is it? I don't really care what you do, just keep out of my way. Oh, what's the matter? Don't want blood on your nice new outfit? Piss off. Proceed to the exit area. All right. Can I interact with the dead man? I can. Oh. He really does just get naked. Sure. Four came here a few years back. He lives like a king now. He's got men working for him. Just sits around dishing out orders. I know plenty of guys who came over here looking for wretches. Never heard from any of them again. We're all slaves here. Who ever heard of a fucking paradise for slaves? So none of them have anything interesting to say. 
just grunts. I assume for the most part, we just want to explore. Yeah, reach the gate. Sure. I told ya, no one's getting inside. We've been out here for ages. Just let us in already. You'll wait there as long as I fucking say so. Orders and nobody goes in or out till the outbreak's been contained. Outbreak of what? What the fuck do you think? Outbreak of the giggles? A tech rot outbreak. We can't have it spreading, so it's locked down until the cleanup. How long's that gonna take? Drugan's holy balls. It'll be done when it's done. Now enough with the questions. Shit. What now? As Luma is in lockdown, access will be nigh on impossible. Even for one with your skills. Just because you're in my head, demon, doesn't mean you know what I'm capable of. What's the plan, then? My contact is a man called Savash. My understanding is that he was last seen disappearing into the Biomancer Chapel in Mortbane. First, we must pass through Luma to reach Mortbane. It's located just beyond those cliffs. All right. So what do we do now? We wait. That is our only option at present. Great plan. In that case, I'm going to have a nap. Remarkable. You're a possessed prisoner on a hostile island, and yet you can sleep? Isn't my remarkable nature why you possess me? Wake me up when something happens. Wake up. The quarantine is over. The gates are open. It's time to move. That was a Star Wars reference right there. I like it when there are Star Wars references. It was also weirdly low frame rate for some reason. Never bodes well, but whatever. Unless you can control my legs, we're not going anywhere till you answer some questions. Who exactly is your contact? I've already explained that. Is your small mind not capable of paying attention for more than a few seconds at a time? Oh, sorry, I, I zoned out. Who'd have thought a voice in my head could be so dull? My contact is a man called Savage. He was tasked with locating something of incredible value to the Empire. An artifact that could hold the key to humanity's future. Any idea where we should start looking for him? My understanding is that he was last... If we're gonna... Of course. You flatter me, demon. But I'll need some tools to do what I do. Sorry. I was just assuming it was going to be the end of it, or like, repeated dialogue, but yeah, if we're going to do this, I'm going to need some equipment, of course, but remember, we need to find Savash as soon as possible. There we go. Oh, and there the dialogue ends. That's fine. So it looks like this game more or less just goes pure open world past this point. It's kind of neat. Uh, looks like we've got quest givers, weapons, clothing, drugs, things. Sure. Well, let's see what quest we got. We gotta do it soon, Kaylin. Tinnies are all over the place because of the latest tech rot outbreak. Now's our chance. I know, I know. But we're in veteran. Okay. Shut it, Colm. Think, think we're that all right. Scab now. over there's listening in. So they were listening. Uh, they realized I was listening in. I think. We shouldn't be talking about this out here, Colm. 
Let's get inside. Okay. This is interesting. If only the dialogue wasn't like weirdly stilted. Because it is weirdly stilted and it's very confusing. Okay. I'm going to grab a couple of things. Most of this probably isn't that useful. But like a needle might be. Copper rings? Maybe? The rest of this stuff doesn't seem very good. A yeah, trap found. I might as well disarm them all. I see no reason why not to. Looks like there's tons of loot all over the place. I have no idea if any of it's actually good. Might as well just kind of grab whatever. Uh, geez. Character kind of controls a little awkwardly. To be totally honest. Just hoping for some stuff. A lot of unpaired socks and pure garbage. It's nice that the traps are, are visible. Oh, the world's creatures on the absence of historical records. Grab the water and the moonshine. On the absence of historical records, it's come to my attention through the study of ancient texts that the creature, the creatures of our time are absent from historical record. I've searched extensively through every tome I can find that predates our glorious Vetral Empire. None of them reference any of the familiar creatures that inhabit our world today. I even went as far as to look for descriptions, as it occurred to me that perhaps the creatures could have been known by different names. But it's as if they did not exist prior to our age. Take the mighty Sporox, for example. There are some books I've found that describe a creature that shares some physiological similarities with the monster, but lack other key aspects. After talking with several of my learned colleagues, the only conclusion we arrived at was that between the time of the Great War and the coming of Drugan, a planet-wide extinction occurred. The few creatures that survived this catastrophe evolved and became new species, which were better adapted to surviving in this changed environment. The only question left to answer are why this extinction event occurred and how humanity survived it unscathed. So this is set on Earth, kind of. Pretty much don't want to pick up anything useless. Okay, so we want to sneak. We've got these two people here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to listen in. Okay, I'm going to save before I do anything stupid. Okay, so we have paired socks. Yes. Cheap cigarettes? I have no idea. And a human skull. Seems like none of these things are really worth anything. All right. I'm just going to walk in. What the? Who the fuck are you? This one of your pals, Colm? No. What do you want? If it's this easy for me to follow you, you've got no chance on your grand heist, whatever your plan is. All right, smart ass. Who the fuck are you, anyway? Master Thief Terriel. I want to hear about your job. You'll need my skills, I'll wager. Well, you talk the talk, anyway. Maybe we can use you. Tell me what the job's about. Then I'll decide whether to help you or not. Okay, listen up. Tekrot got a thief friend of ours. He had a special artifact that a toff called Demotier wants. Demotier is one of the richest socialites in the capital warden's hold. Every corpse's possessions are kept in a warehouse in Luma before being shipped off to the Techno Magi HQ. We're gonna steal a key card from a tinny to get access to the warehouse shipment. Yeah, then we'll ship the artifact out and intercept it. Well, what do you think? Not bad. We'll need a diversion, though, to steal the keycard without attracting attention. One of you will distract the Technomagi. The other will be the spotter. Good thinking. Calm, you need to be the distraction. We're some in skimpy. Oh, no, come on. Don't make me come on to this guy. 
<laughs> you know as well as I do that's the way he's inclined. <laughs> right, it's settled. I'll pose as a merchant and be the spotter. Right, that's settled then. I'll pickpocket the Techno Magi. You distract him and keep an eye out. Sounds like a plan. We'll meet you at the Cirrus rooftop bar when you're ready. You better not screw us over, Master Thief. Well, that was easy enough. Oh, actually, while I'm here, any of these useful? Doesn't seem like these guys care too much about what I what I rifle through. So I'm just gonna kind of grab whatever. I don't know if any of this is useful, but some of it actually looks like it might be handy. Most of it looks like pure gunk, gunk and junk, and nothing that nobody cares about. I'm... Okay, can I... Yeah, nobody cares. Admittedly, nothing seems to be any good. I don't even know if the copper rings are any good. Human meat. Gross. I'm just gonna grab a couple of these. We might as well just go see if I can sell some of it. It looks like we've already got the established values on the things, but, you know, I don't know. Worst comes source, it'll give me a start. Maybe I can buy some boots. Okay. So we have stuff over here. Got another side quest. Game gets kind of wiggy Citizens when I start Death, sprinting. The biomancers offer you salvation. Okay, which one of you is the merchant? You? Welcome to my shop, prisoner. I'd like to see what you have for sale. Okay, so. We have clothing. Uh, let's sell the book. We don't need it at all. Let's sell the traps. I'm probably not going to use them. Now, merchant will only oh, merchants have limited amounts of money. Good to know. Now, what does he have? Pure garbage. All right, I'll take some of these back then. Merchant will pay me twenty-two. Why does my mouse keep showing back up? What do I what do I keep doing to get it up on there? I have no idea. Heard anything about what's been going on around here lately? If you're a fighter, now's a good time to test your metal in the bird cage, the Luma Arena. I've heard that the headhunter, Graith, is scouting for talent. Impress him, and maybe one day you could fight in the famous Crucible Arena in Warden's Hold. I'll be going now. Goodbye. Come back soon. <laughs> this game kind of reminds me of like a hella grungy version of KOTOR. In a way, just the arena, the whatever. It feels... It feels like there's just a lot of like weird potential here and I like that. Hello. Can I help you? Heard anything about what's been going You know about the latest tech rot outbreak here, yes? I've heard that the Techno Magi are struggling to contain this one. A few ferals. The tech rot victims have lost their minds completely, got into the mining area. They killed a few, infected many more. The infected go back into town, infect more people, and so the cycle continues. I think only half of the cliffs are under quarantine. The techno magi are still trying to secure the tunnels. I'd like to see what you have for sale. Okay, so sh we have common hooded trousers. So pretty much we just have physical resistance and barely any. Common armor. Uh, doesn't seem like it's any better than the common top that I've got. I mean, there's the hooded top, but I think that's cosmetic. Common, 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 common. Yeah, so she sells nothing. I do not have gloves on, on though. Let's get some gloves. I have no idea what gloves are even going to look good, but whatever. Let's see, and we do not have a hood on. But I could have a cap. Oh, it's because we're not wearing it. Okay, let's finalize the transaction for now. I'll be. Okay, she's kind of leaving. That's fine. So I got a cap. Makes me look like a dingus, but whatever. Common top. What if I put on the hooded tunic? 
Eh, uh, common gloves. Okay, so I do look like a dingus. I guess kind of rightfully so. Let's let's buy a hood. I'd like Plus she has money. So let's just buy common hood that one. And let's sell our common top, common trousers. Let's see. She's gonna pay me seven. Let's sell the other gunk that I've just picked up here. M most of it's worth nothing. So I might as well just burn through it. At some point, might be useful. And finalize transaction. There we go. I'll sell the traps for... I'll, I'll keep the traps going. for later. Goodbye. Somebody that has more money, ideally. Somebody that has a weapon, maybe? We will cure you of your ailments. Okay, uh, so that's the other thing. Let's take this stupid hat off. There we go. Now I got two hoods. Double hood means extra thiefy, right? And we've got maybe a crafting bench if you nearby. If bothered to carry basic parts around, then you wouldn't have lost the job. Yes, what is it? I'm a little preoccupied here. See, my baby, my crafting bench, has given up on me. Can I help you fix your crafting station? I don't know. Can you? In truth, I'd be glad of the help, but it's not that simple. See, some key parts are missing. Why don't you let me look for them? What do you need? Not sure where your game is here, but what the heck? I need a bar magnet, three sets of rivets, and a couple of metal chains. Right, well, that makes this a bit easier. So, time to just start checking for stuff. Unfortunately, most of this is probably going to be... I don't know if the bolts and screws are what we need. But I'll, I'll start looking pretty much through every single one of these. Unfortunately, it's really hard to... Okay, bolts and screws. Nothing. Dirty mug, nothing. We might be able to find it from somebody else, too. And I could spend bulbs and coils. Strange device. Oh, it's an Atari. That's adorable. Okay, there's an... there the another quest up here. You hey, you. Multiple. Yes, you, the lively one. I have a job that needs doing. If you have the backbone for it. Why are you leaving? What is this? You look like you have more about you than all those other dregs. Looking for a bit of work? Listen, there's a shitload of owl right in these ruins, but these pathetic dregs are too terrified of Tekrot to collect it. That's where you come in. You'll get a delivery fee, of course. All right, tell me what to do. Honestly, I mean excellent. I knew you had something about you. Um Techno Magi reliance on cursed technology can okay. only lead mankind I'm to I'm really oblivion. confused about that and what happened there, but sure, why not? Good day, my child. How can I help you? I'd like to use the alchemical station. Only those worthy in Drugan's eyes may use the alchemical station. To prove your devotion to our savior, travel to the shrine outside Luma. Learn of the first stage of Drugan's journey, and bring me a token from the shrine as proof. Fine. If it's really necessary to use the alchemical station, I'll go to this shrine. I hope that you find the enlightenment that you so clearly need, my child. Good to see you. Okay, let's see what she has to sell. Uh, well, let's sell the... Oh, no. She has no money. She has herbs, but until we actually get alchemy, oh, yeah, there's no point. Major. Okay. I feel a bit weird for pretty much spending this entire episode talking to people and picking up quests, but it's probably necessary. What's somebody's he somebody here? This guy? I'm sorry, prisoner. I only trade with certified hunters and recognized merchants. Okay. 
So I've got to become a, a hunter somehow. How do I get on top of this building? I guess I can just kind of climb it. We... Further up? Is this the right ha house? I have no idea. This guy? No, definitely not this guy. Who's the person I'm supposed to get the quest from? Maybe down one layer. In one of these buildings? No, we might just be out of luck on getting to this quest, at least for now. I mean, otherwise we could just start breaking and entering. I mean, people gonna, people are probably gonna notice. Who knows? Okay, that seems like a place I shouldn't be. Let's not, and say we didn't. Okay. Look at him. This is what happens when you steal from the grits. Don't say nothing, or you'll end up like this scab. Yoink. This weapon should do for now. Keep it close. You never know when you're needed. I'm surprised I can't use the frying pan as a if weapon, you have honestly. Any more obvious advice, please keep it to yourself. Now all we need are some lockpicks. So you can begin doing what you do best. Uh, let's see. Supposedly there's something here. Can I can I get the venison? Yoink. Most of this is Pure garbage. There's like flint. Yeah, the crafting table is kind of my main priority here, but I'm not seeing where to get it. I'm looting all this stuff, and I probably should stop. But it, it this feels like one of those games that being like kind of compulsive about robbing everything blind will actually help. I mean, already we've uh, forded more than uh, we probably should have Kalahawk eggs. I don't know if the uh, rope is any of any use. You'd think rope would actually be, like, incredibly helpful with this sort of thing. Alright. So let's try again. Maybe the, the guy we're looking for is in here. This looks here? like a guy. Don't be shy. Welcome to the Slippery Eel Store. Have a look at my stuff. You look like a man who would know quality items when he sees them. Okay, let's see what you got. Low prices for a fellow prisoner. Just don't tell anyone about me, okay? Okay, so he has... He has traps. Uh, ah, there's the lockpicks. Buy all of those. How does my mouse keep coming back? I don't move it. There's runes. There's a... Body dissolver. Interesting. Yeah, most of these seem to be just like... Small bits. We want the visa... The visa pill. Unfortunately, I'm still a little bit short. I'm just gonna keep selling whatever I've got. Yeah, okay. We'll take these back. We'll go with that. Merchant will pay me 22. Hell yeah. Yeah, so if I can get, uh... If I can, if I can get a little bit more, we can get to zone 2, like, already. Should be nice. Doesn't look like he has anything else, but we needed those lockpicks. Slippery eel. Really? Don't you like it? I got a nickname because I'm always one step ahead of the tinnies. I supply goods other merchants won't touch. The tinnies would string me up if they found me. I better be on my way. All right. Just don't mention me to anyone, okay? There are tinny spies everywhere. Those lockpicks should prove useful. 
I assume you know how to use them. I have some experience with them, yes. Okay, we're also looking for... No, steal this guy? Hello there. I'd like to see your wares. Okay, so I have a crude metal axe, which does 18 damage. Versus 17, 13, 18 again, and mango steens. Yeah, so I'm fine with the axe that I've got. Thank you for your help to Okay. Uh, so. Speak with the merchants in Loomer. I guess I'm just supposed to talk with all of them. Sure, why not? Uh, what am I... Who have I not talked to? Maybe one of the... I already talked to the drink merchant. Maybe there's just the one food merchant? We will cure you of your ailments. Rid your mind of sin. And enlighten you in the ways of the... Hello. Can I help you? Heard anything about what's been going on around here lately? Funny you should ask. Some loony from Mortbane told me that the attack on the Biomancer Temple in the town wasn't actually an attack at all. He said a demon tickled the nose of a giant serpent, making it sneeze or fart or something. Anyway, apparently that's what destroyed the temple. If you ask me, you'd have to be nuts to live in a town that's swimming in deadly gas. I'd like to see what you... Okay, so she sells seashells. Mainly, she'll buy my crap. Yeah. Also, whatever. We'll just sell everything. We'll get what we need later. Uh, I do not want to sell the rest. So I'll get nine. Still puts me at half at I'll the halfway point. Goodbye. To getting that. Uh, to getting that thing. Okay, so speak with the merchants in Loomer. Travel to Mortbane. Acquire a gas mask. Somebody back here. This guy? Nope, this guy. Don't waste my time looking if you're not gonna buy something. I'd like to see what you Okay, does he have a gas mask? No, he does not. He has good metal daggers. High attack speed. But deal limited damage. I mean might not be a bad idea over the axe. I'll lose out a little bit, but whatever. We'll get more money. I'll be going. Just another scab. Go on. I bought some from you, jerk. Okay, so we gotta get a gas mask from somewhere. Probably not from these guys. That's for certain. Locked hold for more. Ooh. Hi. Okay, so it's Skyrim. Okay, let's save again. Seeing as we're fine. Whoops. And dying. Okay, so I have to be very, very uh, careful when I'm I'm stealing from this. I, I figured as much. I, I'm being kind of circumspect, but I, I shouldn't be. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to steal one at a time, and then we're going to wait. And then kind of rinse repeat until we've got everything. It's probably not a good idea, and unfortunately the load load times on this game are kind of really slow. But, I mean... Da. Yeah. Why? Why? What? I apparently rolling in front of that man offends him. I guess it's because I was shifty or I got too close or fucking hell if I know. I mean, worst comes to worst, I come back and rob it when I have a better stealth package or something. I don't know. <laughs> 
The main problem here really is the load times. Like, death doesn't bother me too much. Going back doesn't bother me too much. But waiting, now that bugs me. Okay. Yeah, so every every time I like go into a menu or something. Uh-oh. Nope, we're good. Okay. So I want the orite. Grab that first. Alright, we're good. No gas mask, but we got whatever. I'm down Citizens for. Citizens of 